Hey, this is Justin. You're watching wingsound.com. I love hearing from the community, getting your feedback and your questions. You can reach me at justin at wingsound.com. This particular question is from Ron Stone. And what he's asking me to do is to sync up an external MIDI device with Pro Tools. I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's very easy and you can get all your tracks laid down in Pro Tools to mix. Okay, so you have an external device that you wanna sync to Pro Tools and make Pro Tools the master. So when you hit play on, the, on Pro Tools, your device is gonna play back as well. <clears throat> so what you're going to want to do first is go to your audio, audio MIDI setup and you want to create a new device. So in this case, I'm using a picture of the MV8800 because I don't physically have the device with me. But, you know, whatever your device is, just rename it. You want to enable MIDI time code and MIDI machine control. Apply it. Okay, and then what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna connect through your audio MIDI setup the M box to the MV800, 8800. And you, you gotta be cautious of how you're connecting it, you know, of what ports you're using and things like that. So once you've done that in the audio MIDI setup, you need to physically do that as well. So what you're gonna do is from the M box, you're gonna wanna take the MIDI out because it's sending out the time code information and then into the MIDI in of your other device, of your external device. So it can read that code and sync up together. So after you've done that, you also want to, on your device, you want to go to the, however you get to it, the, your menu to slave your external device to, the pro, to Pro Tools. You slave it or sync it up however you however you do that and you do it through whatever MIDI port you're using okay so in Pro Tools you want to go to peripherals machine control you want to enable MIDI machine control and then choose your MIDI device it should show up in the drop down menu over here whatever your device is Hit OK and then you want to go back to setup and go to MIDI beat clock and your device will show up again over here. So now the Pro Tools is gonna send the, the information to, the, for in this case, the MV8800. So, and what, what you also wanna do is, in Pro Tools, you know, it, it defaults to 120 BPMs, but if you're, if on your external device, you have it set at a different BPMs, you wanna match them up together. So if it's 80 in your external, you wanna make Pro Tools also 80. BPMs and then you want to add some pre-roll time you know you could do it drag it around there figure out what it is like a bar or a two so this way when you play back it gives it time for your devices to sync up together so the MV is now slave to Pro Tools and all you would have to do to to record into Pro Tools is you make some audio tracks depending on how many your device has and what you want to do is so let's say if, you look, if you're looking at if you have this M box you have two inputs so you have one and two so you want to make you know two audio tracks because that's all you can do at one time and enable them for one is in input one analog one and the other one the input would be analog two and then you want to go on your on your device and get the outputs the master outputs or unless you have multiple outputs on your device that that line up with your channels in your device and you want to take those out the left and right and plug those straight into the inputs one and two of your of your interface so now what, what's gonna happen is as soon as you hit record and play you know and you record and you arm your tracks for record and, and you hit play on Pro Tools to record your external device is going to play at the same time and the output for whatever tracks you want to record at one time you know you solo those up or whatever th those are gonna go out of the outputs into the two inputs of your interface so they record right into Pro Tools you could bounce all your tracks in like that 
and then you can mix them in Pro Tools and get your song ready to go. You can always get in touch with Justin at WinkSound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at WinkSound.com.